Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to build my simple selector panel. So if I click this button right here, this light should come on. If I click this one right here, the light will go off and this one will come on. Click the button right here, this light will go off and this one will come on. And now it goes much faster in the back just because when you click the buttons, it takes a little while for the lights to go away. And then if we click this one right here, it will also reset. Now you'll mainly see these selectors on multi-floor elevators or you'll see them in minecart station, but you can use a selector in an array of different things. So right back here is the entire redstone for this build. As you can see, there's nothing really to this thing. Now right down here is just for the lamps. So if you don't wanna put the lamp in, this is all optional right down here. But right up here is the entire selector. As you can see, it's completely flush and seamless to the wall. So you won't see any of the redstone besides the lamps if you're gonna decide to do that. And then we also have the output right over here. So you can hook it into whatever you want. So instead of me just telling you what this thing could do, let's go ahead and look at a build that I implemented this into. So here we have the selector panel hooked up to my simple piston elevator. If you want to check out that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below. However, if we go right over here to our selector panel, as you can see, we are on ground floor. And if we want to go to floor two, we click this button and those pistons will open up, letting us into floor two. If we click floor three, those pistons will close and then floor three will open up. And then if we click the top floor, all the pistons will close and we will be able to go to the top floor. So let's say we want to go to floor two. So we click the button, get inside our simple piston elevator, make sure I'm not in fly mode. There we go. Click the button and we will go all the way up into floor two. Now let's say we want to go to floor three. So we click floor three, those will close. Floor three will open up. So we go right here, click the button and we will be transported all the way up until floor three. And then last but not least, if we click the top floor, all the pistons will close. Go inside the elevator, click the button, and we will go all the way to the top floor. And that is just one thing you could possibly do with this. You can use this thing for many of things, but as you can see, it's the same exact design over there, except it's hooked up to a few torches that go up to open up our sticky pistons. Okay, guys, so for this build, you're going to need a one by six spacing, and you're also going to have to dig down one if you're going to decide to put in the redstone lamp. Now, for this build, you are going to need two droppers, one redstone comparator, two redstone torches, one piece of redstone, a button, and a stone slab. Now that is just for one of the selectors every time you add another selector in. So if you want two of them, you're gonna have to double up those resources. Now, if you want the redstone lamp to pop up on, if you want that selector lamp to come on, you're also going to need one piece of redstone, two redstone torches, one redstone repeater, and one redstone lamp. And it's the same exact thing with the top ones. If you keep adding on more layers, then you're gonna have to times this by two every time you add on another selector. So once you've gotten your one by six spacing, which I'm sure you're going to do a lot more, we're going to come right here to the front and then we're going to come up one block with our block of choice, delete this block and go ahead and put a button right here. Then off the back of the block with our button, we're going to place a redstone torch, place a block on top of your redstone torch, a torch to the side. This one should go off, place another block above your off torch. And then we're going to put a slab upside down right here. So put a block there, put a slab upside down, delete this block and put a piece of redstone dust like that. So it should look something like this. If we click the button, the redstone dust up here should pop on. Then coming off this on torch right here, we're going to place a dropper. Make sure it's a dropper and not a dispenser. And then we're going to put a block up right here and put another dropper facing inwards towards that dropper like so. Next, go inside this backdrop right here and place in one item. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and just place in one redstone torch. I highly recommend just using a dirt. And then right off of this backdropper, we're going to put a block up with a comparator coming out of it. Now, if you're going to be doing the redstone lamp, then you're going to have to get rid of this block and put a slab upside down here and then go ahead and put your redstone comparator in. But that's it, guys. You are completely done with the selector. So if I click this button, as you can see, the comparator over here will come on because this torch will go off. So click the button. There we go. And the comparator comes on. Now, if you want to add in the redstone lamp, come back here to this comparator, put a piece of redstone dust down one block from it, put a block in front of your comparator, delete all these rows of blocks out right here. Then coming off the block with the redstone dust over here, put a torch. Then we're going to go ahead and put a repeater coming out of the torch right here on one tick delay, put a block in front of it, put a redstone torch off the side of this block, a block above the redstone torch, and then a lamp right here. And as you can see, since we clicked the button, the lamp came. So now I'm going to add in a few more selectors. So I'm going to go a little bit faster here, guys. So go ahead and put a block here, put a torch to the side, block above the torch, torch to the side of the block, block above the torch, put your slab upside down right next to this one, put a piece of redstone dust right here. Then we're going to come right next to this on torch, place in a dropper, and then put another dropper facing inwards towards that dropper like this. Then we're going to go ahead and put another slab upside down right here, then put a comparator coming out of the slab a block in front of the comparator, a piece of redstone dust down, delete out all these blocks, one, two, three, four, 
put a redstone torch here put a repeater coming out of that redstone torch on one tick delay put a block in front of it put a torch to the side of it block above the torch and then right here we're going to add in our redstone lamp then what we're going to do is go inside our dropper and place one item inside of it so i'm just going to place this dropper right here i highly recommend using dirt so now if we add our button right here and we click this one this one will go off and that one will come on see boop on and off and now we're gonna go ahead and do it one more time so a block here put let's put a button right off of it put a torch off the backhand side of it then we're gonna put a block above the torch torch off the back of the block block above the torch put a slab upside down put a piece of redstone dust above it go ahead and put your dropper coming out of this on torch right here put a block over the top put another dropper facing inwards i know i'm going fast but i've shown this many times put a put a slab upside down put a comparator coming out of it put a block above it put a piece of redstone dust down here delete the four blocks one two three four then we're going to go ahead and put a redstone torch off the side of it put a repeater coming out of that redstone torch on one take delay put a block in front of it torch off the side of it block above the torch and then redstone lamp right here and then we're also going to have to add an item inside of our dropper let's go ahead and place one redstone torch and that is another selector completely done so now if i click this button this light comes on that one goes off click this button this light comes on and that one goes off now you can make this go up to 15 guys if you want you can have 15 different ones going all the way over here but you cannot go more than 15 but there you guys have it that's how you build the entire silent selector now if you want to hook it up to something right here is your output you can come off this piece of redstone dust here with like a repeater or you can come off the top over here with a redstone torch or you can come off this side or you can come down one and come out over here with a repeater or if you really want to if you want to have something pop up over here you can have it come out of over here with the redstone torch over here as well so if i dig down right here like this it can also come out of these redstone torches as well but there you guys have it that is how you build my silent selector so if i go ahead and go clean this up so we don't have to see any of the redstone mess there we have it oh i almost forgot guys we didn't add in uh, the reset switch for it which i didn't even think i showed it but if you want to reset to turn all of them off just put a button over here make sure you just don't put a lamp underneath it put a redstone torch coming out the backhand side of it put a block above it redstone torch on top of it block above that and then literally come out with a slab and put a piece of redstone dust like that and that could be your reset switch so we click this button and all of our lamps go off so there you guys have it if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace